Now, the constant attacks by insurgents has become a, a, both a threat to peace and economic development. Nigeria's Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment was re recently in Washington and spoke with VOA's Paul Diho. Paul. Well, thanks, uh, Vincent. Uh, Nigeria continues to have the potential to be a major player in the world economy. The West African nation's annual growth rate has averaged almost 7% uh, during the last decade, driven largely by developments in trade, investment, and agriculture. Despite these success stories, uh, the country still faces a lot of uh, challenges. I recently caught up with uh, Mr. Olusegan Agenga, the Minister of uh, Trade Investment in here in Washington, D.C. And I asked him how the country is coping up with some of these challenges. We can do many things. We have done some. We're doing some. Um, so, for example, uh, before, it took you weeks to get your business registered. Today, you can register your business within 24 hours in all the main commercial cities. We're working towards online registration, which should happen in the next few months. Secondly, we have reduced the cost of registering your business. For SMEs, we've reduced it by about 50%. For larger companies, by about 25%. That took effect from the 1st of October. So we're regularly evaluating and looking at the investment climate and say, what can we do to reduce the cost of doing business? Multiple taxation, we're trying to bring that down completely to make sure that we eliminate that in the system. We recognize that it is very important that that is addressed. And of course, the cost of doing business also is higher because of a lack of electricity. And again, that's why we're addressing the issue of electricity. That's why we have prioritized a power generation and distribution. But uh, some of the critics out there say that uh, the power thing is still a serious challenge for uh, good luck Jonathan's government. The way to look at it is to look at where were we when we got in, where are we today, where do we intend to leave the government, and what's the future. When you look at it, before we came in, power was in the hands of government. We successfully privatized it. When you look at it, we inherited where the power supply was just about 4,000 megawatts of power. We expect that at least that will be doubled before we go. And we've made significant progress already. What is it that you can do to attract some kind of investment in the northeastern part of Nigeria? Boko Haram is killing people every day. Your point about attracting investment to that sector of the economy is valid. It's very, very important. Um, and, and we are addressing it in a number of ways. So you get more incentives, for example, if you invest in, the, in, the, in that part of the country. Okay? That will encourage investments there. If you look at agriculture, um, it's the predominant work in that region is agriculture. And you'll see this government has prioritized agriculture. The biggest investor who is investing about $2 billion into the sector is investing most of its money in six states in the northern part of the country. Most of the sugarcane plantations are going to be in the northern part of the country, and that single investor will create about 180,000 jobs within the next three to four years. I was reading somewhere where people are saying that uh, you're the man behind uh, the positive change that we are seeing, but uh, there are also some critics out there who say that uh, it's all rhetoric and nothing much has been done on the ground. Are there some things that uh, you guys can point to that and say that this is what we've done? The fact that investments are coming to different sectors of the economy, we see that, we hear that every day. I think what Nigerians want to see, and, 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 that's, and you can't blame them for this, we can't blame our fellow Nigerians for this, is that they want to see, for example, X billion has come into it, they want to see the impact on job creation today. Unfortunately, it takes time to get this done. So, but the most important thing is that we're moving in the right direction. That was, uh, that was uh, Olusegan Agenga, Nigeria's Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. Uh, back to you, Vincent.